some of our suburbs are keeping a close eye on a new piece of legislation that could generate additional money for city budgets without that money coming from taxpayers. Robbinsdale Mayor Bill Blanagan helped work on the bill and testified recently how it would help some cities. Here's how he explained the bill to the city council earlier this month. Uh, I suggested that there was a way that the city of Robbinsdale could earn an extra $330,000 per year, which over three years that'll equal a million dollars. Uh, by changing the law so that 15% um, of certain of our reserves could be managed by the Minnesota State Board of Investment rather than just sitting and getting 1.1% like it, it did last year and it has for several years. To learn more about this bill, we sat down with the bill's author, Representative Mike Freiberg, who represents Robbinsdale, Golden Valley, and part of Crystal. And that makes up today's Newsmakers segment. Well, it was brought to me by Mayor Bill Blonigan of Robbinsdale. Um, he pointed out that um, cities the size of Robbinsdale uh, that have a double A rating, which is very good, um, aren't able to invest in the private market. They have to invest in government securities, which have a very low rate of return. So a few years ago in the legislature, we uh, added uh, uh, the ability of larger cities or cities with the triple A bond rating to invest a portion of their reserves in the private market place. Um, so that was cities over 100,000 or ones that have a triple A bond rating. So uh, Mayor Blonigan felt that cities such as Robbinsdale should be able to provide that level of return to their residents as well. And I thought he made a good point. So uh, we worked with the League of Minnesota Cities, drafted the legislation. Um, it got a hearing in the local government subcommittee last week. It passed unanimously. So it seems like something there's some momentum behind. Why is it a good thing for cities and taxpayers? Uh, well, government securities have a very low rate of return. I think Mayor Blonigan said it was barely over 1%. Um, certainly, you know, there's no guarantee of making, making money in the private marketplace, but the, at least certainly the last few years, the rate of return has been um, much higher uh, in the private marketplace. So it's an opportunity to raise more revenue for the cities without raising taxes. Correct. And it, you know, and it might help them fund some projects that they've had to set aside because they haven't had the funding to do that. Have you seen any organized opposition or anything against this? Uh, no, no organized opposition. I mean, there were some questions, which I think were fair, just making sure that we're not jeopardizing um, taxpayer m funding. But there are uh, safeguards in place to make sure that, that doesn't happen. The city can only uh, invest uh, up to 15% of certain of their reserves in it. Um, there's guidance by the State Board of Investment, which has been, which has done a, a phenomenal job lately of ensuring that taxpayer, fu taxpayer funds are protected and investing in um, sort of sensible securities. And that's what uh, Mayor Blonigan is interested in doing. He's interested in working with the State Board of Investment. You have this bill in the House. Senator Rust has it in the Senate. Is there anything else that you think somebody at home needs to know about it? No, um, I mean, if you certainly, uh, if you, I'd encourage you to contact your legislator and encourage them to support it as well. Um, I think, it, like I said, I think it's a common sense piece of legislation. I know uh, Mayor Blonigan has the interests of Robbinsdale, Robbinsdale's residents at heart, and I think it would be a good deal for them and for other cities in our area as well. I've heard from, uh, I think, Brooklyn Center said they would be eligible under the bill as well. All right, we'll see how it goes. Representative Mike Freiberg, thank you for being here today. Thank you, my pleasure. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.